This is the all-new third-generation Nissan Qashqai, the showroom sales juggernaut that has conquered all before it and started an avalanche of crossovers and SUV imitators in its wake. Since it first appeared two generations and 14 years ago, the Qashqai has been bought by more than 3 million customers in Europe. If there's one thing the Nissan Qashqai won't be short on, it's rivals. That features a vast array of talents including the Volkswagen T-Roc, Skoda Karoq, the Toyota CHR, the Kia Sportage, and that's only naming but a few. And that's not including the likes of the premium models like Volvo XC40 and the Lexus UX, from all of which the upspec versions of the Qashqai Mark III could poach quite a few sales. Taking its styling cues from the smaller, second generation Nissan Juke, the Qashqai looks at once familiar, yet strikingly new. The Mark III model will be the first time that the crossover is available with 20 inch alloy wheels, while inside there's an improved infotainment system with a 9 inch central touchscreen, as well as a 12.3 inch TFT instrument cluster, and a sector leading 10.8 inch head up display as well. A powered tailgate will be standard on all models, and there's more space in the back of a Qashqai for both passengers in the second row of seats and luggage stashed in the boot. Nissan will launch the new Qashqai with three powertrains. The first two are both 1.3 litre turbocharged four cylinder petrol engines, augmented by a 12 volt mild hybrid technology to save some fuel. These two will deliver either 138 horsepower and 240 newton meters, or 156 horsepower and 260 newton meters to the front wheels through a six speed gearbox as standard although the 156 horsepower engine will also be available with a CVT automatic transmission. This comes with an increase in engine torque to 270 newton meters, and it is the only powertrain from launch that can be fitted with four wheel drive if required. There's a third way though, which is the new e-power Qashqai. This uses a variable compression 1.5 liter petrol engine with 154 horsepower, but that never drives the Nissan's wheels. Instead, all of its output goes to a power generator, inverter, and 140 kilowatt, or 187 horsepower, electric motor that's similar to the unit employed in the electric Nissan LEAF. With 330 newton meters available too, and one pedal driving possible, it is a key part of Nissan's drive to have half the vehicles it sells in Europe powered by some form of electrification by 2024. No one can doubt the Qashqai's importance in the fabric of automotive history, and so a brand new version with heavily electrified models serving as one of its halo vehicles can be viewed as one of the biggest car launches of 2021.